He may be a big ogre, but Shrek sure knows his stuff when it comes to online safety, it turns out. Greg Ryder, CEO and founder of the Children's Educational Network and creator of the Shrek Internet Browser joins us right now with tips on how to keep your kids safe on the Internet. Greg, why does Shrek work to get the message out to kids? Well, the whole idea is we wanted to create something that kids wanted to use. So when they're surfing the Internet, they can't accidentally stumble across inappropriate websites. And in fact, that happened to you. You're a father of five, and I guess you came up with this idea after your 10-year-old had an unfortunate incident online. Unfortunately, she typed her name, Candace, into a search engine, got to a pornographic website, and said to my my wife, Mommy, Mommy, why are these girls showing off their naked butts? Wow. And so that's kind of what got me into this space. So what happens now? If you Is it this software where you download or can you go to a website and download this and it'll just knock out and the Shrek will appear when you go to a site that could be risque? Yes, what it is, it's a browser. So most people use Internet Explorer, Netscape, or Firefox and it's a kid's browser. It's got a Shrek interface on it and when kids use this browser they can only surf pre-approved, pre-screened, child-appropriate websites. So it's like putting them in a playpen and saying, have all the fun you want, but you can't get to a site that's not pre-approved. That's great, because we talk so much about online safety here on this show, mm -hmm. and it's very tough because, as you know, the, the number of predators and people who are able to reach your kids is, is reaching an all-time high. They estimate there's 50,000 predators online at any given time, and there was a report that came out last year that said if your children use chat rooms and surf the Internet, a 100% chance they'd be communicated with by a sexual predator. So this will keep them from chat rooms? Yes, we don't allow any chat rooms. Now, parents can add to or block from the list of include sites, but we are very conservative in what the kids' sites can So, can so you decide what the kids should go to, and the parents could also amend that? Correct. We have a content policy, and then we have humans review websites and say kids can go to these sites or the kids can't go to these sites, and then parents can add to or block from that list. All right, so we've got to do this right now. And how much is it, by the way? It's a six dollars and ninety-seven cents for a download. Wow. So, and then it stays it stays on your desktop, and you tell the kids the only way to get online is to click on Shrek. Correct. And now we want to tell people where they can find it. They go to Shrek. Browser.com, and that's where they can buy it or download it. Correct. Okay, uh, fantastic. That's great, Greg. Thanks so much for coming in and, and showing it to us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, okay, uh, I hear some commotion. Yo! Yeah, we're over in here. In the studio. We What's have Shrek lovers at home, so that would work for us. So right. thank you very much for the tips. Also coming up.